great. So the salmon is done. It's looking good. And then as you can see, the cabbage got cooked down quite a bit. So that's all in there. And then the onions. And so basically I have to break apart the middle to see if it's fully done. Um, but I'm probably going to section this off maybe into like six pieces and like store it and then I'll eat one and then I made these gluten-free chicken tenders which is super interesting and then I made a sauce and it's hot sauce and tahini mixed together I got hungry <laughs> while that was in the oven so I'm gonna go ahead and just like eat this now and then I'll eat this for dinner I feel like if you know nothing else about me you need to know I have an obsession with grocery stores you know I just went to Trader Joe's. And you know where I'm headed right now? I'm headed to Whole Foods, but there's a reason. <laughs> Whole Foods has these healthy desserts that I really, really like, and Trader Joe's doesn't carry them, and I want some. So I am off to Whole Foods. They are killing me in here with all the pumpkin spice stuff. Terrible, terrible, I wanna buy it all. So I usually really hate the ingredients found in the Beyond Meat products, but after looking at these, I'm not opposed to it actually. Hmm, I might want to try those. I never really end up getting a lot when I go to the stores, so I ended up getting a vanilla bone broth i got that little dessert the chocolate walnut brownie so this is the little dessert and then my protein powder my protein bar that i always get so i just go to have fun i really love grocery shopping and i like seeing what the stores have that's new like all that pumpkin spice stuff and i think it's fun i saw like a bunch of new ice creams a bunch of new things like i saw they were selling sweet baby corn, like just, usually I only see it in like Chinese mixes, but they were literally selling like a packet of sweet baby corn. So that was awesome. And now I'm just gonna head back. I'm kind of tired. I wanna eat one of those little chocolate desserts and <sighs> nap. <laughs> Still tired, but I am editing. I just ate that chocolate brownie thingy. Um, my video actually just crashed my video editing software, so hopefully that comes back the way it's supposed to come back. Uh, yeah. I'm also thinking about making pumpkin spice cookies today. Pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookies. So we'll see if that happens, because I'm kind of interested in that. I just made this, so I actually poured some into a container, and I'm going to drink it like like a chocolate like a hot chocolate mm. maybe this will give me more energy it looks a little weird but i have to just swirl it around make sure all the pieces so i put um an almond milk in there and it should taste like a hot chocolate so we shall see okay 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 here we go Okay friends, so I just put up a YouTube video. It's, um, well you guys probably already saw it, but I just put up um, like cure a cold in 24 hours, like my secret natural cure. And now I'm done working for the day. Thank goodness, because as I've reiterated, I am a tired lady and all I wanna do is make some cookies. About a year ago, I put out these cookies and I literally tried six different batches to figure out how to create cookies that were gluten-free, refined sugar-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and I made them. And so I call them In Your Dreams, there you go, In Your Dreams Chocolate Chip Cookies. So today I'm gonna take this recipe, do it, but I'm gonna make it pumpkin spiced. Because for some reason I'm just craving pumpkin but I'm also craving cookies. So, the first thing I wanna do is preheat the oven to again, 350, just like the salmon. 
So before I do anything else, I'm going to make my chia seed egg. And if you didn't know, you can actually make, uh, basically if you take like a tablespoon of chia seeds and you add water to it, it expands. And it kind of acts the same way in baking as an egg. So we're going to do a teaspoon of chia seeds and then two teaspoons of water. So it ends up looking like this. And so we're going to let this sit and let it expand so the chia seeds will start to absorb the water. And that is good news. And that'll be our egg. So, so I'm putting half a cup of gluten-free flour. And I have two different types, so I'm going to mix them together. The first type is a grain-free one, and then the second type is Bob's Red Mill. So I'm a pretty messy baker, but so I'm going to like roughly this, roughly that. So we're going to roughly put half a cup. And then we have, oh I know I needed something, I needed baking soda. So then we need a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. I literally spent all last fall coming up with this recipe, so it's very trustworthy. And then I need sea salt finely ground. Lightly mix this around. Okay, then I'm gonna start adding the wet ingredients. I'm too lazy to put them in a different bowl and then transfer them into here. So, actually I may be able to put them all in here. The sad thing is I don't have vanilla, so I don't know what to do about that. I don't think my roommate has vanilla either. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. She's not, I don't think she's a baker, so I don't think she will. Okay, here we go. So, I want eighth of a cup of coconut oil. And instead of the olive oil today, I'm going to use avocado oil. So basically all I do is I'll pour it in the fourth and just go to half. And then I'll put the coconut oil on top, but I need to melt it. Okay, I'm going to check back in with you guys once this is all done. And we're going to see if this works because I'm going to have to concentrate. So. I will talk to you guys later. Guys, I'm actually really proud of this dough. To be what it is, this looks pretty darn accurate. So take a nice good look. So it's chocolate chip, it has almond butter in it, pumpkin puree, and cinnamon. I have a good feeling about these, so let's see. They smell so, so, so good. I'm going to just put them in the oven and then let's see what they turn out to be. So I'm glad I did them in batches because first batch is a little bit of a fail. They ended up just being like these giant balls and only the outside cooks and this has happened to me so many times. So then I like press them down with a spatula. Come look. I'm not a happy camper. They look meh. I have high standards when it comes to baking. I've baked for like my whole life and so like yeah I know they're kind of okay but like no they're not. So I think I'm gonna put these in for a couple more minutes because I don't think the insides got done but now I have to figure out how to alter the batter that I have that they'll actually fall. Alternatively, I can treat them as if they are like, kind of like, maybe like shortbread cookies, where I already put them in the like flatness that they need to be. I saw somewhere that someone made like these pumpkin cookies, and then they put like their three fingers on it, and when they cooked, they ended up with like a nice design. So I can do that, or I can play with the recipe more to see if the cookies will fall. It's just weird with this type of cookie that's like all of these like know this, know that because they don't behave like regular cookies. Maybe I need to put in coconut oil that hasn't been like melted and see if that helps. I don't know. Back to square one. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how the first batch of cookies turned out. So 
you know, it looks okay. Mmm. It's okay. It's not sweet enough and it's super dense. Maybe I need more baking soda and then some sort of sweetener. I have coconut sugar in it, but coconut sugar isn't quite as sweet. Trial number two. They're smaller now, and I kind of pushed them down. So we're gonna see how those turn out. Now we have round two. They are okay. <laughs> They're still really soft and not exactly what I'm looking for, but I think I'm gonna have to just deal with it because I don't wanna tweak the recipe anymore. They didn't really fall like I wanted them to, but we're just gonna go with this and I'm gonna bake the rest of them up and then just chuck them somewhere for them to do their thing. A little bit disappointed, but at least they taste pretty good. Guys, I am so happy we meal prepped earlier because now my dinner is done. All I have to do is go over to the fridge over here, grab the salmon that we made up earlier, I'm gonna pop it on a plate, and then I'm gonna add some greens to make a little bit of a salad. And that's gonna be my night. Guys, I need to go to bed. I'm gonna eat this, maybe eat a few of my silly little cookies, and call it a night. My last attempt at the cookies. So I tried to do that thing I was telling you guys where you like make it into a ball and then you press it with your three fingers, but it actually looks like they puffed up and I'm not mad about it. I think that might actually be a good thing. So I hope those are good. Um, that's my last attempt at cookies. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's definitely something interesting, something different. I really enjoy vlogging. Um, I wasn't really getting a lot of traction on it when I first started vlogging. I would do travel vlogs, but this time I want it kind of around the realm of like eczema healing and what I do on a daily basis to maintain my skin health. So that was what today was. We went to the store, we made some salmon, learned about omega-3s, and then we have these cookies. So you guys know that you can still make sweets and still maintain your gut health. Just make sure you're staying away from refined sugar. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. If you like vlogs, give this a thumbs up so I know to keep making them. All right guys. <laughs>